Okay, we've talked about the URL manager, and this really is about all about routes and controllers and the parameters that get passed to those controllers. And one piece that we have to add on this is modules. Now, when you create an application, your modules folder will be empty. So we're going to start with this brand new application. Uh, you can see here it's your generic uh, ye created application. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to uncomment this module right here so that we can use G. Now, because we have an enabled URL manager, all of our queries meet, must be done like this, which is go to the index.php and pass this parameter. The R stands for the route. So we're going to pass in G. Here it will ask us for a password. We can copy this here, which is a weird password, but something we can copy in. And now we're here. Now in the past, we've done the models and the CRUD, which is controller plus others. But now we can do a module. Now a module is like a site within a site. So imagine that you have a website that's e-commerce and you want to have the back end, which is your administration module, which uh, is going to look completely different. So we're going to do that module right here. And we're going to call that administration. We'll preview it. See that it's going to create these three files. And then it's going to tell us that we want to copy this into our config because we're going to load the module at startup. So right here, after we've loaded the G module, I'm going to load this administration module. Now let's go into our modules here. We've got this folder administration, that's the module. We've got a controller, which is a default controller here. And we got some views, which is a default view of the index. Okay, and then this administration module, which gets executed before any views or anything else happen. Well, let's look at what happens when we go to our administration module. Okay, so I've got this uh, default view here this, with this information. But, and it may not be immediately obvious, we still have this exact same layout. We've got the main and the column, and we're going to change that so that our, our uh, two different modules can have completely different uh, layouts. Well, the way we're going to do that is we're going to get the layout from the view. We're going to copy it, go over to this view, and we're going to paste it. Again. Okay. Now, We've got these in here, which are the exact same, and we need to make sure that these get referenced. Well, let's see, first of all, how these get referenced. The G created G controller extends controller, and controller comes from our main components here, controller. And you see in this controller, what it does is it says the layout is this right here. Now, this double slashes mean take it from the root of the application. Well, we're going to copy that. We're going to go over to our default controller, and we're going to say, take it not from the root of the application, but from the root of our current route. That's all we have to do there. Now, how are we going to make sure that that's actually what's going on? Well, first of all, this says column one. We're also going to make sure that that goes to the, to the root of our current route. Close that. And then we'll go to main and we'll say, well, the difference between your main and my main would be dramatic, but I'm going to just delete this last line here. So I shouldn't see that powered by ye framework. Sure enough, it's gone. Now what this means is that the view for this administrative administration route is completely different, dictated by these layouts here under views rather than the main layouts and views. And of course, it could look completely different. And that's what we would want. Let's say that we have one model and controller that we want to only have access to under under the administration module. Well, let's go back to G. I'm still logged in, so, so it's going to let me do that. 
and we're going to create a model. Let me make sure that I have under my config the database uncommented. I still have URL manager. Okay, well, before I create models, I've got to have the right database. So we'll delete all the SQLite database. Enable the MySQL database. Put in the name of our database. This is created. This database was created outside of um, outside of Yi. You can see it in PHP admin if you wanted to. Okay, so now when we create a table, we're we're going to go. What is the table? We're going to say it's users. Preview. It'll make sure that it can get to it. Okay, it looks like it found it, and it says I'm going to create this model users.php. Say, yep, you bet. And it went ahead and generated the code. So now let's create the controller. Let's just go ahead and create the controller and the views by doing this crud. I'm going to say that the model that we're going to build this off of is the users. And here's all of the controllers and the views it's going to generate. Bingo. Works quite well. So let's see what happens here when we go to users without having touched the code at all. We can see that it went to the database and found these two users in there. Okay, but what I really want is I really want administration to be under the administration module, including all of the layouts. Notice that we've got our powered by E here under that. So I want to be able to do this, and it says, "Well, I can't find that." Well, that's because we got to move things around in our code. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take go look for our controller. Here we find the controller here, and there's that user controller we created. And I'm going to move it under my administration controllers. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to take the views, we take that users and put it under the views. Okay. So now if I go back to my main site and I say, well, I used to see users here. Nope. There's no such thing as users, no controller, no route to users. But if I go to administration, users, it's there. So that's where I'm now at. But I notice that here I'm still powered by the E framework. So it's obviously not accessing the layouts that I thought it should. I go to here to my users controller. And because this was built by G, it automatically said, hey, my layout is this one right here. And I'll just adjust that, just make that one change. I'll refresh. Oh, it still didn't change because now this one goes to column two. And I never changed column two to go to my local main. Now, hopefully, this will work. Sure enough, the powered by E is gone. We know which one it's actually accessing. Now, all of this is in preview for the URL manager. Because once we now have all of our routes set up that we want, we can go and enable URL manager. Fortunately, there's not enough time in this video to go over some of the regex expressions and things that we might do here. Um, so we'll do that in another video. But this is a part of the URL management, even though we didn't use URL manager, and that is creating these models, I'm sorry, these modules with their own particular views and controllers. So maybe on the next one, we'll actually dig deep more into the URL manager and things that we can do there.